They're all in. And the gates swing back and they're on their journey. Country's light's slow to go. Uh, Memphis was tardy out of the machine. The idea was to go up and lead, but there's a few that want the front. To Bayshore's going to lead the way from the Moonlight Gambler. Memphis wide out, BT Jr. And there goes Brungle Raider very deep. He's going forward three and four wide. Milford Sound in between runners. Two and a half lengths to Country's Light, three to Alienated. So Brungle Raider three wide's going to have to work up outside of two Bayshore and join him as they come around the corner. Dropping in then is the Moonlight Gambler. Memphis caught three wide from BT Junior Milford Sound Country Slide Alienated. Brungle Raider on the outside steadies the ship as he moves up outside of Two Bay Shore. A length and a half away running third, the Moonlight Gambler. Memphis three out. On the fence is BT Junior. A length away Milford Sound and a length and a half away behind him is Country's Light. Just a little keen there. Had to check off the heels of the horse in front and wanted to wave a race for a stride or two. And a length away Alienated. So out of the straight, Two Bay Shore leads the way. Going up Memphis three wide, Brungle Raider in the centre. A length away, the Moonlight Gambler. Then came BT Junior, Milford Sound, Country's Light, as the speed has really dropped out of the race and alienated two lengths away last. Two Bay Shore leads, Brungle Raider the favourite, right up on his outside, a half length away. Two lengths back in the field is Memphis, and he's going to sleep well tonight. He's just had no joy. On the fence, BT Junior, Moonlight Gambler, then Milford Sound, who's had a good run and travels well. Country's Light is still wanting to wave a race. A length and a half half away and again checked off heels and he's now two and a quarter lengths behind Milford Sound. Three lengths to alienated a thousand metres to go. Brungle Raider, two bay shore, a length and a half in front of the Moonlight Gambler in Memphis. BT Junior on the fence, Milford Sound, Country's Light and still alienated the whipper in era. As they pass the 800 metres mark, Brungle Raider putting a bit of pressure on two bay shore who leads him ahead. A length and a half away is the Moonlight Gambler. Here comes Milford Sound. He's starting his run from BT Junior. Junior. Country's Light went up in the centre. Memphis dropped off and alienated last as they come towards the bend. Game on. 450 to run. Brungle Raider moving up to Two Bay Shore. It's an epic tooth and nail struggle as they turn. Two lengths away, the Moonlight Gambler. Country's Light's gone up on the fence. As they turn the bend, Brungle Raider's hit the front. Narrowly from Two Bay Shore. He's a neck in front. Country's Light in the inferior ground running on strongly. And further back is Moonlight Gambler. Country's Light... Well, it hasn't been the place to be, but he's taken the lead. He's the superior thoroughbred. He races away from Two Bay Shore in the Moonlight Gambler, and Country's Light wins it, and he's a pretty good horse. Second, the Moonlight Gambler from Two Bay Shore, and Brungle Raider, who led on the bends, weakened out of it. They're followed by alienated Milford Sound, BT Junior, and Memphis last in. Siraj Nadu, he won his first Australian ride at Kilmore on Thursday. And he's come here tonight and he said, you can get your track bias and throw it right out the window. I'm going up on the fence. I thought he was going to get the back of Milford Sound, but he decided to stay in. And this horse is a good stayer. Once he gets to 2,400 metres, he comes into his own. And not only that, he over-raced for half the race as well. But he was uh, still too good for his rivals racing home to win and win very, very comfortably in the end. Number six first, Moonlight Gambler will run second and third will go to Two Bay Shore and Brungle Raider, who was very aggressively ridden to get outside the speed, which surprised me a little bit, he, uh, he hit the lead on the bend, but his run was short-lived and the winner for Tatiana Fedesca has been much too good for them. He's a dissident four-year-old gilding, but it's the Zabil quality on Mum's side of the family. He's got plenty of stick and glue in him.